Live to Prime Minister Modi right now. Remember, the Prime Minister is touring Rajasthan and Gujarat. The Prime Minister there in your images uh, at the moment. Yesterday, of course, uh, he was in Sikar in Rajasthan and also in Gujarat later as well in Rajkot. He is, of course, uh, as you can see, joined by Ashwini Vaishnav and also who is Minister for IT, Union Minister for IT and MOS for IT as well, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, as you see on your screens right now. These are images coming in from Gandhinagar in Gujarat at the moment. हर स्तर पर सेमीकंडक्टर का जो उपयोग है वो लगातार किया जा रहा है और इसी का अब उद्घाटन प्रधानमंत्री यहां करेंगे फिलहाल इसका अवलोकन प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने किया है ओके सो दैट इज ऑफ कोर्स द इमेज ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन गुजरात एट द मोमेंट ही इज इन गांधीनगर ही लैंडेड इन गुजरात लास्ट इवनिंग ही वॉज इन राजकोट ही विल बी इनोग्रेटिंग शॉर्टली द सेमी कॉन इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एट द महात्मा मंदिर इन गांधीनगर ही विल ऑल्सो एड्रेस द गैदरिंग ऑन दिस ओकेजन द थीम ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंस इज कैटेलाइजिंग इंडियाज सेमी कंडक्टर इको सिस्टम This, of course, aims to bring together global leaders from the industry, from academia and research institutions. It showcases India's semiconductor strategy and policy, which envisions making India a global hub for semiconductor design, manufacturing and technology development. Semicon India 2023, in fact, will witness the participation of representatives of major companies such as Micron Technology. Remember, the Prime Minister had... A meeting with some of these industry leaders when he was in the United States as well. So, representatives of major companies like Micron Technology, Applied Materials, Foxconn, Semi, Cadence, AMD, among others, will be present and participating in this program. The Prime Minister, there, of course, getting a brief and a tour of some of those projects and designs that are on display on showcase at the moment he's of course joined by union minister for information and technology ashwini vaishnav as well as his deputy minister in the ministry rajiv chandrasekhar the prime minister they're taking a tour he's uh, reach that program in gandhinagar aishwarya paliwal is joining us over the phone line right now aishwarya give us more details about semicon india 2023 Well, for me, you know, this is the second edition. The first edition took place in Bangalore last year, and now this is the second edition where we are seeing some of the biggest players in the semiconductor industry now setting up stalls. Why this is extremely important uh, for me is because you know, as uh, you know, one needs to understand where all semiconductors are being used. So, from your mobile phone. to the cars that we use to the ac that we use semiconductor is the new data and that's the reason why prime minister narendra modi has been making policies making sure that india is uh, you know if not ahead in years to come at least you know gets a head start we have been seeing how uh, ever since the time of indira gandhi the country has been trying to make sure that you know we get a foot in the semiconductor industry and now it seems like it will happen let me also tell you one of the crucial dates given by the main minister the it minister shwini vaishnav has been december 2024 that's when he said that the first made in india chip semiconductor chip will be out so a crucial movement uh, you know taking place now in the country the prime minister has reached the venue speaking with the top players both the ministers ashwini vaishnav as well as rajiv chandrasekhar with him and we are expecting the prime minister to reach the dais and then to speak okay uh, also again like you were pointing out how india is looking at making and manufacturing its own a semiconductor by december 2024 more more can you tell us about the program aishwarya well you know some of the top players vedanta foxconn foxconn let me tell you has uh, you know if, 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 if you speak about the numbers it does business of almost 60 billion dollars uh, so you know this is huge huge number that we are speaking about uh, polymi and that's the reason why even prime minister has been focusing on this gujarat is the first state which has a very very clear policy and that's the reason why we are seeing the first factory being set up uh, you know when we speak about the manufacturing process uh, polymi let me tell you it's extremely extremely technical that's the reason why uh, you know it took so much time for the first factory to be set up the first chip will be out by december 2024 and the government is now expecting other states like the state of maharashtra and also the state of tamil nadu now uh, you know getting a foot in the industry and we can expect some more announcements being made by prime minister today
and of course all states aishwarya will be vying to of course uh, host this business in uh, their states as well we've seen some of that uh, back and forth between maharashtra and gujarat as well well we did see a lot of back and forth between maharashtra and gujarat because uh, you know one of the things uh, for me that this industry needs you need a lot of gases you need a lot of chemicals you need ports so that's the reason or why you know uh, when we speak about the source factory being set up in gujarat so all those parameters were being met in the state of gujarat and not from what we understand uh, companies are in talk with maharashtra again because uh, you know uh, they believe that most of the raw materials will be available in the state of maharashtra tamil nadu too because of the technology that is being used is something that is available in the state so we can expect in months to come you know some kind of announcements coming from the state governments of both maharashtra and tamil nadu as well and uh, also one of the key things that the government is now looking at doing is to make sure some of the biggest players like foxconn come up and set a factory in our country it will also give employment for me let me tell you roughly uh, you know 6 lakh people will be employed that is what uh, the ministry the it ministry at the moment the central government at the moment is hoping for so crucial crucial movement uh, you know beginning here in our country and we are expecting the prime minister to reach to dais at the moment uh, you know going around the center it's a huge center here in gandhinagar speaking with the players understanding the technology that goes behind making the semiconductor and how uh, you know indian economy will also get a flip once uh, the uh, semiconductor factories are set up in our country follow me right so like you said of course aishwarya that international players and we're looking at major players as well in this business to set up shop in india uh, what are we doing in that regard how much interest have these players actually shown we do know that a lot of those representatives from these major players in fact are present today at this program but what do we know in terms of them showing interest in setting up business in india well all of them are keenly watching the first factory which now is being set up once the factory is set up and they see the working that is when we all, you know we will see a lot of interest but let me tell you the it minister ashwini vaishnav was in the united states a couple of days back and he has spoken with some of the biggest companies like micron too so foxconn micron some of the biggest players globally uh, are now looking at india because they want clear policies and that's what the central government prime minister narendra modi has been giving it Uh, to them a very clear policy the state governments also are now being pushed to make sure that uh, uh, you know they have policies in place very clear policies uh, because of which uh, you know the factories can be set up also uh, almost 100 universities they, there are emojis which are being signed between the central government and the universities where courses are now being taken with regards to the making of these chips So in the next four to five years, uh, educated people, educated youth will also be ready, who will be then willing to work. So you know, an entire ecosystem is being built by the central government, making sure that over the next three to four four years, uh, you know, India gets a pie of this huge, huge semiconductor industry. So it's not just setting up the factories, having clear policies. They are also making sure that the education is also on the right track, so that educated people, people who understand how to make these chips, also come from India. right ashwarya there of course reporting from uh, gandhinagar just stay on with us uh, you can see those images of course uh, the prime minister is at the convention hall right now of course being given a tour of what's on display he of course as ashwarya was pointing out is joined by union minister for it ashmi vaishnav who's been leading our program in terms of uh, setting up shop for the semiconductor business in india and attracting major players to in fact do business with india in india as well uh, you can see the prime minister over there he is of course joined by gujarat chief minister bupinder patel as well he will be addressing the gathering shortly with the prime minister aishwarya again as you were explaining right at the start in order to break down for our viewers in very lay terms so we will of course try and connect with aishwarya who is of course bringing us updates from gandhinagar at the moment where the prime minister is of course at that program it is semicon india 2023 that the prime minister is at the moment like i said yes uh, he did in fact land in gujarat yesterday he was in rajkot he inaugurated Rajkot International Airport and today he is in the capital Gandhinagar he is of course being given a tour now of uh, what's on display because this is the future in fact this is the new data as my colleague Aishwarya was uh, pointing out as well so there's a lot of interest there is a lot of focus uh, by the central government by the Modi government on in fact setting up shop 
as far as the semiconductor business is concerned in India. That first factory is to be set up in Gujarat and already uh, the center is looking at the possibility of uh, expanding the business in states like Maharashtra, like Tamil Nadu as well. This is of course also going to be a great employment generator as well. This business will ensure that there are many more job opportunities as well. India of course hopes to be able to manufacture the first chip by December 2024. That's the target which has been set at the moment. So there's a lot of focus, a lot of interest uh, the minister himself, Ashwini Vaishnav, was in the U.S. just a few days ago in order to, of course, engage with players and stakeholders to ensure that we do get major international players to come to India to set up shop in India as well. This program, of course, is now taking place in Gandhinagar. It's called Semicon India 2023. It's happening at the Mahatma Mandir in Gandhinagar. The Prime Minister will shortly be addressing the gathering on this occasion. The theme of the conference is catalyzing India's semiconductor ecosystem. This aims to bring together global leaders from industry, from academia, from research institutions, and it showcases India's semiconductor strategy and policy, which envisions making India a global hub for semiconductor design, manufacturing, and technology development. In fact, Semicon India 2023 will witness the participation of representatives of major companies such as Micron Technology, Applied Materials, Foxconn, Semi, Cadence, AMD, among others. Remember, the Prime Minister also was engaging with players of this business when he was in the United States very recently as well. So there's a lot of focus that Modi government is in fact placing on this business as it expands and looks up to players uh, to in fact bring their business to India as uh, well. So it is going to be extremely important this uh, program that we're witnessing right now. So remember Micron Technology has of course uh, committed to invest about 2.7 billion dollars in setting up a semiconductor testing and packaging unit in Gujarat. So that is, of course, uh, what was sealed when the Prime Minister, of course, visited the United States as well. Aishwarya is, in fact, uh, joining us. She is, of course, reporting from this event in Gandhinagar. Aishwarya, again, just to break it down for our viewers in completely lay terms, as you were explaining right at the start, what is the semiconductor and how is it the new data as you said you you really need to know that the chip is barely this much you know so uh, it's a tiny chip but it's extremely extremely powerful let me also tell you almost 100 kilometer long wires are in this chip so uh, you know which is why uh, we are seeing how uh, there are very very few companies and very few countries in fact which have mastered it we speak about uh, you know the chip it is which at the moment globally is number one. And that is what India wants to do in years to come. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been speaking about these chips, not just uh, since uh, you know, he became the Prime Minister, he's been speaking about it since he was the Chief Minister of the State of Gujarat. And that's the reason why you are seeing what you are seeing right behind me, the semi-con. Let me tell you, the first edition took place in Bangalore last year, and this is the second uh, you know, time that this is happening. Some of the top companies of the world, Micron, Foxconn, they are the ones who have now uh, set up these forces. Prime Minister, extremely crucial and, uh, you know, understanding what these chips will do. These chips are the new data because from our mobile phones... <laughs>
धन्यवाद माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के प्रगतिशील और वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण पूर्ण नेतृत्व में न केवल भारत ने तकनीकी विकास किया है बल्कि नवीन तकनीकों और उद्यमशीलता से आत्मनिर्भरता का नया परिचय लहराया है नवोदित आकांक्षाओं से प्रेरित भारत वर्ष तकनीकी क्रांति की ओर तीव्र गति से बढ़ रहा है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के प्रगतिशील और वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण पूर्ण नेतृत्व में न केवल भारत ने तकनीकी विकास किया है बल्कि नवीन तकनीकों और उद्यमशीलता से आत्मनिर्भरता का नया परचम लहराया है नवोदित आकांक्षाओं से प्रेरित भारतवर्ष तकनीकी क्रांति की ओर तीव्र गति से बढ़ रहा है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री आपकी गरिमामय उपस्थिति के लिए हम हृदय से आपके आभारी हैं साथ ही मैं स्वागत करना चाहूंगी गुजरात राज्य के माननीय मुख्यमंत्री श्री भूपेंद्र भाई पटेल का माननीय केंद्रीय इलेक्ट्रॉनिकी और सूचना प्रौद्योगिकी संचार और रेल मंत्री श्री अश्विनी वैष्णव जी का माननीय इलेक्ट्रॉनिकी और सूचना प्रौद्योगिकी कौशल विकास और उद्यमशीलता राज्य मंत्री श्री राजीव चंद्रशेखर जी का इस अवसर पर गुजरात सरकार के माननीय मंत्रीगण सांसद अन्य राज्यों से आए मंत्रीगण विधायक मुख्य सचिव गुजरात सचिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिकी और सूचना प्रौद्योगिकी भारत सरकार और उद्योग जगत के दिग्गज महानुभाव आप सभी का मैं सहृदय अभिनंदन करती हूं आधुनिक भारतीय अर्थव्यवस्था में इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एक महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभाता है जिसकी आधारशिला है सेमी वर्तमान समय में सेमीकंडक्टर्स की बढ़ती महत्ता और निर्भरता का परिचय इस बात से लगाया जा सकता है कि उनकी खपत राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा आर्थिक विकास और तकनीकी प्रगति के लिए अनिवार्य है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के उच्च तकनीक उच्च गुणवत्ता और उच्च विश्वसनीयता के सिद्धांतों के अनुरूप भारत आज सेमी उत्पादन के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है निवेशक अनुकूल और प्रगतिशील नीतियों के कारण भारत आज विदेशी निवेश का केंद्र बनता जा रहा है मैं इलेक्ट्रॉनिकी और सूचना प्रौद्योगिकी संचार और रेल मंत्री माननीय श्री अश्विनी वैष्णव जी से निवेदन करूंगी कि वे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के सम्मान में उन्हें विशेष मेमेंटो चरखा टू चिप्स भेंट करने की कृपा करें मेमेंटो का यह चर कहा स्वदेशी सेमीकंडक्टर फैब सेमीकंडक्टर कंडक्टर मोदी इनग्रेटिंग द सेमीकॉन इंडिया 2023 द इवेंट इज एट महात्मा मंदिर इन गांधीनगर ही विल आल्सो एड्रेस द गैदरिंग ऑन द ओकेजन द थीम ऑफ सेमीकॉन इंडिया 2023 इज कैटलाइजिंग इंडिया सेमी कंडक्टर इको सिस्टम आज के कार्यक्रम का शुभारंभ सेमीकॉन